Hi, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Small Town Big Story, where we bring you the lost stories of the little cities of Los Angeles. Today, we're going to be featuring Westchester, Playa del Rey, and the newest neighborhood in Los Angeles, Playa Vista. These stories of our city are produced by Siki and Son, and proudly brought to you by our sponsor. Let's start with Westchester. Have you ever been to this little gem of a neighborhood? You may not know it, but if you've ever been to Los Angeles, Hollywood, or Disneyland, you've probably been to, or at least driven through Westchester. If you flew into Los Angeles International Airport, that means you landed smack dab on the edge of Westchester. Most people in Los Angeles haven't really heard of it, and may even think Westchester refers to a county with the same name in New York. But no, the easiest way to locate them is to say that they lie between LAX, Marina del Rey, Inglewood, and the mighty Pacific Ocean. The story of the area starts way back when the Tongva people dwelt here, fishing in both the saltwater and freshwater lagoons as well as in what was named by the Spanish as the Bayona Creek. The Tongva made their homes in the lowlands and on the high bluffs. The Bayona wetlands have been preserved and restored in recent years, providing a home for migrating birds, turtles, eager bird watchers, and all kinds of nature lovers, all within the boundaries of the city of Los Angeles. Who said that these were just bedroom communities? Actually, the area remains full of beaches, bluffs, dunes, wetlands, hiking trails, creeks, and bike trails, all right in the city of Los Angeles proper. Stop. In the pre-United States Spanish land grant era, the region was part of the Rancho Sazual Redondo. Remnants of the period still survive in the oldest home in the area, the Centinela Adobe. This adobe home was built in 1834 by Ignacio Machado when the Mexican government carved out the Rancho Aguaje de la Centinela. The Centinela adobe was the home of the head landowner in the area and later served as the real estate office as the rancho was partitioned out into farms and other new developments. It is beautifully maintained today and visitors are always welcome. As the American era dawned, the sleepy Playa del Rey coastal area, once called Palisades del Rey, was built up as a now forgotten tourist resort, served by streetcars arriving from downtown Los Angeles and Santa Monica. The coastal area underwent a building boom. Some buildings and home from the era still survive today. The resort's heart included a large hotel, a huge lagoon for boating and fishing, with wildfowl hunting in the nearby wetlands. Many filmmakers found second homes away from the bustle of Hollywood here. Other popular nearby diversions included Los Angeles' first major auto speedway, as well as an aerodrome for air shows and air races, and even NFL football games by the forgotten Los Angeles Buccaneers. With the development of the large Venice resort to the north, the Playa del Rey area went into decline in the 1910s. The large hotel was converted into a home for girls with mental health issues. It met its demise in the early 1920s, when one of the inmates burned down the hotel, causing multiple deaths and many injuries. A smaller version of the lagoon survives today, and boating and fishing are still popular in the nearby Marina del Rey. The 1920s brought the first major university to the area, as Jesuit-run Loyola University, now known as Loyola Marymount University, or LMU, arrived in the lima bean fields of Westchester from downtown Los Angeles back in 1928. The Loyola and Paradise Theater soon followed, as did the major expansion of Mines Field into Los Angeles International Airport, which attracts tourists, travelers, and airplane buffs from around the world. The area saw tremendous growth in the 1940s due to war production. After the war, 
Returning veterans and Cold War defense workers were looking for homes, and so the bean fields and farms of Westchester and the Sentinel Valley were rapidly converted into houses, many of which still stand today. Hughes Aircraft Company, owned by eccentric inventor, pilot, filmmaker, and multimillionaire Howard Hughes, was the major employer in the area, producing the famous Spruce Goose flying boat in two huge hangars that dominate the landscape even now. With thousands of workers, its own runway, factories, and research laboratories, Hughes put his own stamp on Westchester, and that stamp still resonates in local lore. The building boom drove continued development of homes, schools, churches, stores, and businesses, building up Westchester and Playa del Rey as a place with a small town feel in the big city of Los Angeles. early 1970s, to the regret of many residents, LAX had expanded to add a north runway, eliminating many homes and leaving only ghost neighborhoods and schools in their place. The area finally got a boost in the 1980s as Otis Art College came to town, and in 1984, Loyola Marymount University hosted the weightlifting competition for the Los Angeles Olympic Games. The population surged once again as the 21st century dawned, as the new Playa Vista development created new living spaces, ecosystems, and neighborhoods on the site of the old Hughes Aircraft runway and plant, also attracting new business development from Silicon Valley, creating today's Silicon Beach 2.0, home to such companies as Google, YouTube, Yahoo, IMAX, the Los Angeles Clippers, and many others as well as shopping centers, theaters, and restaurants. Westchester and Playa del Rey today contain an evolving mix of architectural styles that have developed over almost 200 years. The area is thriving with shopping, restaurants, lovely neighborhoods, and landmarks new and old. New infrastructure is being built to prepare to welcome the world to the 2028 Olympic Games and light rail will finally return to the area. Surrounded by a unique blend of natural beauty, history, high-tech, jet age, and aerospace neighbors, the diverse, innovative people who live here are happy to call these little cities home. Maybe you'd like to stop by and visit someday. We hope you do. Thanks for watching.